Good morning, fourth grade. Welcome back. Today we're going to be starting a brand new project. This project has to do with Picasso, Cubism, and instruments. So it's kind of like music and art class kind of mixed this time. We're talking about Picasso. Picasso is a painter who is known for creating Cubism. Cubism is kind of like you took a picture, you shattered it into a million pieces, and then put it back together. A lot of times when people look at a painting in the Cubism movement, they think of shattering. They think of shattered glass. It really does look like a bunch of different pieces put together. You're gonna need a few things today. You're gonna need a yellow sheet of construction paper. This is what our painting is gonna be on. You're gonna need a pencil for now, and then we'll get to the paint next time. And then you're also gonna need this folder. So this folder will be different based on your table color. Um, but what is inside are some different instruments that you could draw, like the saxophone. Uh, maracas, what else? Ooh, we even have a DJ booth. You can choose whatever instrument you would like. You may also share with the person next to you if you would like to do the same type of musical instrument as your partner. But I would not recommend sharing with the people across from you because it's gonna be very hard for you to see the instrument if it's in the middle of the table and no one can see. So I've looked through all my options and I've decided that I am going to do the saxophone. So luckily our classes are small so we have a lot of space. You're gonna need that yellow sheet of paper and then now you're going to need the instrument that you chose. Now you could draw your instrument horizontal or you could draw it vertical, it is up to you. Now we've been practicing our drawing skills lately. The goal is we wanna draw this instrument on the yellow sheet of paper. We need to draw big, so it needs to really fill up this whole piece of paper. You're gonna look for the little shapes. So here I see an oval, I see some lines that going down, I see lots of circles. Make it easy for yourself. I know that this may seem hard, but I want you to think of it as smaller shapes rather than one big challenging instrument. So now I'm going to start drawing. Remember, I have to draw big. The first thing I saw was this big oval. So that's what I'm going to draw first, is I'm going to draw that oval. This drawing does not have to be perfect. You don't even have to include all the details. Just try your best and have fun. What I want you to notice is that there's all these details, but I don't want you to feel like you have to draw all of them. If you don't want to draw all those details, you don't have to. That's the one thing about abstract art, is that you get to create what you see, rather than always making it look realistic. So now I have my saxophone drawn. Notice that I did not draw all the details. It is up to you how much detail you want to draw. I also drew some musical instruments kind of coming out of the saxophone, and that's just because I wanted to be creative like that. You can be as creative as you want. So now we have our instrument drawn on the paper, but it's important that because we're making cubism, that we make it look like it is shattered into different pieces. We're gonna be making lines using a ruler and a pencil to make it look like it is shattered into different pieces. So with your ruler, I want you to draw at least five to eight different lines across your paper. I know it's a little bit hard to see because of the glare, but I'm taking my ruler and I'm drawing lines all the way across the paper from side to side um, at least five to eight different times. So I have two. I'm gonna do some lines going up now and maybe some on the top. I know it's a little harder to see, there we go. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I need maybe just one more. It's up to you how many you want to put. So I drew those lines all the way across the paper. Um, you can see that they go from end to end. And this makes my painting look a little bit more interesting, a little bit more shattered, because that's what we want. We want it to look shattered. So we're finished with the drawing but it's gonna be really hard when we start painting if we only have the lines in pencil. What I want you to do now is take one of the bigger Sharpies, bring it back to your table, and you need to go over all of your pencil lines with the Sharpie. So when you get to the Sharpie, this will be a very quick step. You're just gonna go over all lines in pencil 
with the Sharpie. So please go over all lines. You don't have to color anything in with the Sharpie. This is just so that you can see the lines when you're painting. It's gonna be way more difficult um, without the Sharpie. And so that's why we're going back and making our lines bold is because when we start painting, we wanna know where we're gonna put the paint. Don't forget to go over every line, even those little details inside the instrument, if you decide to add them, those would be great to add a little bit more of a bolder line to. Before you leave today, don't forget to turn yours over and we're gonna add our names to the back. All right, well that was really fast. I used my big Sharpie to go over every single line and I am done for the day. This may take another class period, so please don't feel like you have to rush. I'm so excited to help you with your instruments and I'm so excited to see what these paintings look like when they're done. Y'all have an amazing day.